Hi, this is Ram from Crossmind Studio and welcome to another short tutorial series about the hot topic of the Blender community, which is also the latest and most anticipated feature, Geometry Nodes. Now, nodes are powerful. Every major 3D program either already have a strong node-based procedural workflow or is adapting to it. Blender's Everything Node project's first installment is Geometry Nodes, which is still at a very early stage of development, I would say, but can make life easier even with the limited number of nodes that we have at this moment. So it's fun, it changes the way we used to make environments, procedural effects, digital assets, and scatter things around. And not just that, with upcoming modifiers and curves being added to it, and many more new nodes coming to the Geometry Node system, it's going to get even more powerful before we even realize. So while the development of the geometry nodes will go on for quite some time, it's better that we do some catching up and start adapting to the new workflow. The first part of this geometry node tutorial series is going to be for absolute beginners, like literally basics and no tricks or advanced setups. This is for those who are starting with the node based workflow for the very first time in Blender. And well, let's agree, it looks pretty darn scary when you look at those big node maps. But once you understand it, you will never go back to your old methods of working. So we will start with creating absolute basic things without touching the spreadsheets or attributes. The main goal here is to get comfortable with the nodes, know its meaning, its uses, why is it better than the old methods, understanding the node-based workflow, adding nodes, connecting nodes, short keys, organizing the nodes, making simple node groups, etc. will be our first priority. And from there on, we will work towards using simple math in nodes, applying materials, using node groups, simple point instancing, wiring parameters, creating your first node-based animation, which you can apply to any other object with single click, and it will give you exact same procedural effect. So by the end of this short tutorial series, you should have this animation with you, which you might have seen in the trailer, or you might be able to come up with an even better example. And then we can get into a bit of rendering lighting of this intro sequence, the usual stuff that we do by the end of the series. So speaking of rendering, this video tutorial is sponsored by our rendering partner Rendero. This entire sequence was rendered using my cloud workstation on Rendero. We also recently made a very detailed video about using cloud-based workstations for your day-to-day -day heavy CGI works. So if you guys are interested, do check out that video. Link is right here at the top and also in the description. And there have been few updates in the prices and subscription models since then, which are much more affordable now. So you can begin with just 19 US dollars per month and have access to a cloud-based workstation. Even better, you can have unlimited access to cloud computer for just 49 US dollars per month. And that will give you unlimited access to cloud computer on Renderer. Enough talk now, so let's get started with the geometry nodes for the very first time. I will try to keep it as simple as possible because honestly, I hate spreadsheets and maths as well. But there are always ways to learn new things with the different methods. So, so we will figure it out together. Let's tune into the very first chapter and create those very basic things for the first time and uh, leave the rest of the things for the later. So let's move on to the very first chapter. Click right here and I will see you guys there.